What are quarks? Over the past century, discoveries in physics have come thick and fast. Some have changed the way that we understand the world. An understanding of the structure of the atom has been a huge focus of scientific research, and it has heralded an era of discovery unlike any we have ever seen before. In 1964, Murray Gell-Mann and George Zweig suggested that most of the known particles of the time could be explained as being combinations of three fundamental particles. Now the term fundamental means that the particle does not have a substructure, it cannot be split. The name quarks was chosen from the James Joyce novel Finnegan's Wake. Three quarks for Muster Mark. In order for their calculations to work, however, these quarks needed to have a fractional charge. This was a new concept as fractional charges had never been seen before. Quarks are the fundamental building blocks of all particles that we know of. At the Stanford Linear Accelerator, electrons were fired at protons and found to bounce off of tiny particles inside them. It had taken four years, but this was the first evidence for the existence of quarks. At the time, there were two basic quarks. The up quark, which has a charge of plus two-thirds of the charge of an electron, and the down quark which has a charge of minus a third. How are they different? They all have different masses, as well as charge, and another property called spin. The up and the down quarks are the most common and least massive. The proton was found to be made of two up quarks and one down quark. Now, we know that the charge of a proton is plus one. If we look at this in terms of the fractional charges given to quarks, one up quark would have a charge of plus two thirds, so therefore two up quarks would have an overall charge of plus four thirds. Adding in a down quark reduces the overall charge to three thirds, which is the equivalent of one. A neutron was found to consist of two down quarks and one up quark, which gave it an overall charge of zero. The discovery of the up and the down quark was followed in the coming years by the strange quark, the charm quark, the top quark, and the bottom quark. Quarks have quite strange names. Up and down were named based on components of their spin. Strange quarks were given the name strange because they were observed in particle decays that had slightly longer lifetimes than they should have done. The charmed quark was given the name because of its fascination, the way that it fascinated the physicists at the time. Bottom and top quarks were chosen by a famous physicist called Harari. He chose the names because they were the logical counterparts of the up and down quark. Quarks are never seen on their own, and the evidence for their existence comes only from particle accelerators.